This is the new Bentley Bentayga extended wheelbase. It is a limousine that's an SUV rather than a saloon car. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about it. Anyway, I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any videos. Buy, sell, car, wow. Let me talk you through what the extended wheelbase version of the Bentayga is all about. So Bentley has had to retire the Mulsanne. It's getting a bit old. And one day they'll replace it with some big electric limousine. But until then, they need a flagship. So what they've done is made an even bigger, even more luxurious version of the Bentayga. And here are a bunch of them at Bentley's factory in Crewe, which are waiting to go out. I mean, look at these different colors. We've got gold, we've got gray, pink, and this big purple car here. Now you might think from a distance, it just looks like a normal Bentayga. However, the extended wheelbase version actually has 2,500 new parts, and I'll talk you through some of them now. To create this extended wheelbase Bentayga, Bentley has increased the distance between the front and the back wheels by 180 millimeters, so about that much. Now it has a wheelbase of 3,175 millimeters, which is 40 millimeters more than a Maybach GLS but unfortunately 22 millimeters shorter than the new long wheelbase Range Rover. Oh well, you can't win them all. Anyhow, all that extra length is in this door. Look at it, it's huge. Obviously to accommodate the door, Bentley also had to fit a longer roof and a longer floor pan as well. The extra sheet metal on this car is part of the reason why this extended wheelbase version of the Bentayga is 98 kilos heavier than the standard car. Obviously some of that weight is in the door there, but to help you open it, it's motorized. So you get assistance. Look, I'm gonna open it with my little finger. You do have to pull it for safety reasons, but look, I'm putting no effort in at all. Ah, I'm just gonna get in, because this is what it's all about. Wow, that's nice. Tell you what's also nice, when you get inside, you don't actually have to pull the door, you just press and hold this button. And let it do its thing. Before we go any further, I need to give you a point of reference with a normal Bentayga. So I'm sat in the back behind the passenger seat because this is a right-hand drive car. I have a tape measure here and I'm gonna measure my knee room and it's coming in at 17 centimeters. Back in the long wheelbase now, once again with my tape measure, let's see what we've got here, come on. Oh, there's more, there's more knee room. 35 centimeters, way more space. And if that isn't enough, look at this. I can use this new little tablet to make the front seat move out the way and put my seat into its most relaxed position because this car has the top of the range airline seats. I'm gonna get relaxed now. Oh, look at this, we've got a footrest. I'll just put my feet up, shall I? Actually, no, do you know what I should do? Let's measure my knee room again. I think we've made an improvement here. We're at uh, 50 centimetres, so half a metre. It's <laughs> pretty good, isn't it? Sometimes when you're travelling in luxury, you want others to know that you're travelling in luxury. And that's why this extended wheelbase version of the Bentayga has a few design cues which make it look a little bit more premium. For instance, it comes with vertical slats in the grille. In addition to the mesh, you can have it in this chrome effect. It's plastic, really. Or you can have it in black. Then there's these unique mirrored 22 inch alloy wheels. You can't get these beautiful things on the standard Bentayga. Now on the inside, there's even more upgrades and I'll talk you through them now. All four door inlays on this car have this unique metal bit of trim on it. What happens is the craftspeople at Bentley get a big piece of metal and they just burn away the bits they don't want to create this shape. And it's so thin, it's thinner than paper, it's 0.07 millimetres thin. Then they lay it on and lacquer it by hand. And then there's this stitching. So the thread they use here is thinner than the thread they use on the normal Bentayga. And the stitches are actually half the size. It's just exquisite. Well, the sunroof is exactly the same size as on the normal Bentayga. Bentley have had to move it backwards slightly so that people in the back can still enjoy it. And for the first time, rear occupants can actually operate the sunroof blind because they can do it through this tablet. Just press this button and the blinds should close. Come on. A bit like me, it's not the quickest. Yeah, you're not in a hurry if you've got a Bentley. The normal Bentayga is available with heated and ventilated rear seats, but this extended wheelbase version gets a special upgrade. The seats can actually measure your temperature and humidity. 
So you can tell if you're a bit hot or you've got a sweaty bottom and it can vary the cooling or heating accordingly. There's also two zone ionization rather than single zone. That means that if you're eating foie gras here in the back, it can clean up the smell of all that fatty duck liver. Then there's the extended ambient lighting in the doors. So you have two different panels so you can alter the colors as you wish. And the lights actually shine through little pores in the leather. There's no point having all those interior upgrades if they make this car an absolute pig to drive. And that's why Bentley have fitted the extended wheelbase Bentayga with rear wheel steering. The result is that the turning circle is 11.8 meters, which is 7% better than the standard Bentayga. So it's actually going to be more maneuverable, even though it's longer. It also gets a standard of 48 volt anti-roll bar system, which stops the car leaning in the bends. Now that is an optional extra on the normal Bentayga. There are some things you can't get on the extended wheelbase Bentayga, which you can get on the standard car, and that's the W12 engine. In fact, from launch, there's only going to be the V8, the 4-litre twin turbo with 550 horsepower. There won't be the hybrid initially, but it should be added to the lineup later on. Another thing you can't get on this car, seven seats. There's no seven seat option on the extended wheelbase version, even though there is on the shorter normal car. Makes sense not. Finally, we come to the price. Now, Bentley haven't actually revealed exactly how much this car will cost, but a standard Bentayga V8 starts from £150,000. And when you think about the fact that a long wheelbase Range Rover starts from £170,000, and this is definitely more luxurious, it's going to be around two hundred grand starting. In fact, I think it'd be easy to spend over £300,000 on one with options. I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know what you think of this car by voting in the pinned comment. And if you click on those windows there, you can watch some more videos. And if you click on that box there, you can go to CarWow to sell your car. Just upload some photos, a brief description, and our dealers will bid on your car to make sure you get a good price for it. Thanks for watching.